nigga, yeah. Still in the club with the young nigga, yeah. Young gold nigga, young gold nigga, yeah. Still f***ing all the young gold niggas. Tune in every Monday, 6 p.m. Tuesday, 6 p.m. Wednesday, 6 p.m. And Thursday, 6 p.m. It's like a whole series. Tune in. Yeah, check us out. All right. Young gold nigga. And we're back. It's your boy King Kelso. What's up? This your boy Bone. We got Triple OG Spook in the building. Yeah, yeah. You going back? Live? Huh? You on your live? Nah, I ain't on my live. <laughs> OG be having like five <laughs> people. <laughs> Yeah. yeah, you know, they gotta build it up. Hey, well, he be building it up too, OJ. Look, oh, it'll build it up. Nigga don't even talk to. Hey, man, what's going on? What's up, man? Right in the middle it'll of the show. Up. Stop lying. <laughs> it will. All is gonna build up, man. Yeah, man. Uh, again, appreciate you coming on. Absolutely. Um, where were we at? Man, we were talking about how these people that took over our neighborhood. Fifth Ward. Uh, I see a lot of new. Uh, properties being built Townhouses and all that yeah. And um, you was talking about the river Yeah Oh about. yeah Talking about these river districts Right Well that's that's going to be like uh, And it's it's really a bio Oh yeah It's really a bio You already know that That's bio. cold man That's <laughs> cold <laughs> Yeah <laughs> He called it the river but Yeah It's they put know. some blue dye in that bitch hey, And call it the time, river tell you one time I went over there and they already playing on the river. Yeah. They even got a co- golf course on Waco. Damn. Yes, yeah, a Waco, golf course on Waco, restaurants. Hey, man, this thing, this place going to oh, be. Oh, yeah, thing, yeah, yeah, yeah. It's going to yeah. be a beautiful place when they yeah. finish with it. So but, that is, uh, go ahead. But my thing with the whole thing is that we can't, we ain't getting enough of the pie. Yeah. And they're given the opportunity, but we don't see it. We ain't trying to play a part in, man, this place that they building is for Fifth Ward. Yeah. These jobs and these construction, these millions and millions and millions of dollars that these people is playing with, they looking for dudes out of Fifth Ward who is certified to get some of this money. Yeah. And I don't care how many times I go to say it and say it. And, hey, man, these people giving them. We, if you don't play a part in it, don't be mad about it. Right. You're absolutely right. You know, and they not they not playing. A, we're not playing a big enough role in what's going on in our community. And that's for the problem yeah. is that we, we nonchalant. We don't care. So when you see these people. Walking their dogs, running in down the street. The bottom is already gone. Yeah. The bottom is called Edo, yeah. uh, the East River District. It's right there on Clinton. Now, ain't, if you if you close your eyes and I drop you in the bottom and spin you around and you didn't know what streets you the street signs, you would think mm-hmm. you you wouldn't know where you at. You'll be walking like man, I'm uh, lost. I was fucked up when I went I went over there for a photo shoot. Uh, and I was like, God damn. Yeah. The bottom is all the way gone. Yeah. Oh, it's gone. Yeah, it's all the way gone. You know, so that's how the East River District finna look. They, they finna make that thing, you know, shops and malls and uh, apartments and townhouses and, you know, everything finna be over there. They just coming and coming and coming. Yeah. They gonna yeah. come all the way through. But, you know, like I say, man, it's, it's happening. You know, and, you know, we got people that's upset about it. But, you know, like I keep telling them, man, a car can't stop no train. Mm-hmm. You know, it's coming. So just try to put yourself in a position to get, if you want to get paid, put yourself in a position to get paid and be generous to others because people's getting this money and they ain't, they ain't trying to look out for nobody else. They ain't looking at affordable housing. At all. You know, when you displace people, mm-hmm. when you take away something, where these other people supposed to go? Mm-hmm. You know, this is my biggest problem. The only problem I would have with what's going on is that they erasing our culture. You know, our the way we live and see things. 
you know, you don't you can make things better, but you don't have to take everything. If you don't like how it look, fix it and put let people stay where they at. Right. You know, and that's what they doing. They displacing people. Yeah. You know, and so when you look at homelessness, you can't live in Fifth Ward for nine hundred dollars. You know, these houses, the houses that you would least expect somebody even staying, living in, living in them houses. And they probably paying eight, nine hundred dollars for that. Yep. Versus, you know, you taking, 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 build something for these people where they can stay where they at. Mm-hmm. And that's that's what's going on. They ain't, they ain't, our people being removed. Down, and yeah. it's like all the history that we have. If you can't talk about it, it's gone. It's gone. You can't see it because we can still talk about how yeah. Lowndes Avenue and the harbor was our downtown. Yeah. You know, we can talk about how many uh, movie theaters we had and yeah. how many doctor offices and shoe shine parlors and cafes yeah. and, you know, go down the list of the things that we once had. You know, we don't have none of that in the community no more. We can't go, you know, it's, it's little brothers that are coming fifth level. They wouldn't even, they wouldn't even believe I own the place because they're not used to seeing us, you know, owning nothing no mm-hmm. more because you go in these places now, it's foreigners. Yeah. You know, foreigners is, is what, when you go in places now, in fifth ward, ain't number foreigners. I ain't yeah. probably, I probably can count the places, the places on my hand that, they can go in and see us as the owner. Yeah. That's how bad it done got yeah. that. We don't even want what's ours no more. Yeah. We don't want it. Yeah. And then when we do have it, we don't support it. And wonder why it closed. You ain't winning now. Right. You know what I'm saying? And you, I see you next door at Joe's, this, these Vietnamese place, and this brother had a place across the street. You ain't even going there. You ain't even go in now. You know, and you wonder why all these places closed in Fifth Ward because man to man bread still. Yeah, still. You ain't went in there and bought down yeah. low. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it gonna go still if you don't buy it. Yeah. Man, he too high, but you got some some Gucci shoes on. Mm-hmm. Now you worry about what stuff costs. Yeah, that's why our community, man, in the shape that is in, because Lack of support. Right. Cause we got Lack some. We got some good businessmen. Yeah, great. Yeah, and I sit down and talk with businessmen and business women, and I I can hear it. Yeah. And they business don't stay open a lot of times because people still believe the customer is always right. Mm-hmm. Man, the customer ain't always right if you come in there being disrespectful. There's a lot of that going on. How you right being disrespectful? Right. But you want somebody to accept how you been you talking, but can't nobody say this to you because you in the customer service. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and respect go a long way. A long way, man. You know, and that's 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 how I see things. It's like you'll see that a lot. I ain't going back in there because they don't. But what you do. You know, what you do or say to cause this person to say this back to you. You know, after you going on and on and on, this person started taking your abuse. And then soon they say something back. I ain't never going. They don't know how to talk to nobody. But see, they don't go to them other people's establishment and act like that. Mm-mm. They don't want to come to us and act that way. And they try and, and always talking about our customer service yeah. when, man, I wouldn't, if I came in your place and you had a waitress that had a bad day or a salesperson had a bad day, I wouldn't couldn't let that be on you. Right. I wouldn't say, I ain't going back in now. That's how they, the owner ain't had nothing to do with that. That was that, that person that mm-hmm. day. Right. So you going to go on social media and bash this man business you know, talk bad about the man. Even some days, things just ain't the same. Right. Go back to see. Right. That's I ain't never. I ain't never let one experience cause me to talk bad about people yeah. in their business. 
Because that's them people. Uh, Livelihood. Like, yeah, man. I ain't going to do that. I ain't yeah. going to do that. And, you know, and we as a people, we got it bad doing that. We yeah. got it bad talking down about each other and talking bad about each other. Yeah. You know, versus if you ask me about somebody, the only thing I might say is, what about it? Yeah. I ain't going to chime in with you with the hate. I ain't right. gonna chime in with the with the with the down talking on people because you know that's that got to stop somewhere. Right. Yeah. yeah. You know we got to stop that somewhere, and, you know, and that's that's the disunity. That's why that's why we as a people, some of us, mm -hmm. can't get where we trying to get because we too worried about what the next person is doing or how the next person is doing what they do versus man just. If you don't like them, don't say don't don't, don't go there. Right. Don't say and people just a pile up against you. Mm -hmm. You know, and once one person don't like it, then nobody don't like it. That's just how. That's they don't just, even know nothing about you, man. It's like we as a people, man. We got to we got to change the narrative, of the way we think about each other. Or you know, we gonna look up and we gonna stay in last place. Yeah, we keep it up. Oh yeah, man. Cause I look at. Look at us as a people, man. Everybody is thriving but us. And we then came a long ways as a people financially. But what is we doing about it? Right. What is we buying up? What is we buying as a unit to say we own three blocks or something? Mm -hmm. We don't own three blocks or nothing. Yeah. No way in America probably that we own... A, a whole area for us. And you look at every nation of people, they own something in America. And we've been here for, since the signs of time. Right. We was here when everybody got here. But why we don't own nothing and don't have nothing? And once we once had it, we was worrying about going through the front door. And we had front doors to go through already. We front doors. We weren't about, I ain't going through the back door. I want to go through the front door. Man, you got a front door to go through. Right. You know, and we just destroyed our own communities. Trying to be a part of something else. Trying to be around people that don't even want you around. Right. That's cool. And they still doing it today. You are move in the neighborhood. So many of y'all move that they're going to leave. Gone. And look at it. And that's why I look at all these different communities. And you got Mexicans got their own Everything and all over Houston. Mm -hmm. You know, you got China, got Chinatown, right. you got Vietnamese. Right. You got everybody got something but people who look like us. Right. We don't have one block, two blocks or nothing, nothing that we can say is ours. That's true. And that's pitiful, man. That And, you know, we, we don't even have a school district, a school system, no hospitals. Nothing. Nothing, man. And these people got all this stuff for themselves. And uh, shit, Chinatown, they got the street signs in Chinese. Oh, man, I'm telling you. You know how much power it takes the motherfucking city to change the language and the sign? You know, that's political pull. Man, that's nationhood. Yeah. I mean, you that group right there is not to be messed with. Yeah, that's nationhood. That's when you, 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 you know, protecting your nation. Right. You know, China is a, a nation of people. We as a people, man, we ain't, we ain't trying to see things on that level. Yeah. You know, and I, I went around to this one of these yes preps, and um, they had some kids, some Mexican kids writing on the walls in the restroom, uh, ends is lazy and ends is this and ends is that, and across the street at the park, the same type of graffiti. So some of the parents you know, they come and was talking about it. So me and my niece, we go around, we set up a meeting to see what's going on, that our kids got to be subjected to racism in Fifth Ward. So once we go to talking, and I'm asking them, well, what's the percentage of us in this school? People say 2%. God. <laughs> 2%. What school was this? Yes, prep. Around the corner from fifth level on that used to be SA Pleasant. Wow. 2%. In Fifth Ward. Yes. Oh. 
so I was like, okay, who owned this, these schools? I think the man owned like 21 of them. Yeah, I know it's a lot of them. And come to find out, I couldn't even be tripping because the man who created a school system for his people. Them his people. He let two percent of us go to school there, but I don't know. We might not go there because they don't have no athletic programs. Yeah, that could be the reason. But for us, for just two percent to be in a private school, don't make no didn't make no sense to me. God damn. All of us ain't gonna be no athletes anyway. Half for of them really? that's going to going to school to be an athlete. Ain't gonna even gonna make it. No, they probably smoking weed and doing everything yeah, else. Yeah. Versus, you can go there and get your education. Right. You got teachers that I spoke with that don't stay there because they being subjected to the same thing. Mm. So I'm like, how y'all accepting this in Fifth Ward when this is this supposed to be our community and our children can't go here? Our teachers can't teach here. Yeah. Oh, it's, it's a lot of stuff going on in the fifth ward that ain't making no sense to me. But, you know, when we we ain't paying attention to mm-hmm. what's going on and then took our hands off of it, and then you got the elders that tried to, trying to hold on, but now, you know, they just having meetings. Yeah. You know, to me, they just having meetings. They ain't just, doing nothing. Yeah, it's a lot of meeting going on versus... You know, you got a lot of these non profits out there, really. You know, you got some young ones coming up now. Mm-hmm. You know, you we got some young non profits that I think that's doing some fine jobs that's kind of starting to put their hands back on the pulse and playing a role in what's supposed to be said and what can and can't be done. Yeah. You know, and that's that's what it's gonna take some 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 young these youngsters ain't trying to hear it. Right. You know, especially <laughs> if they doing the work. It's coming from their heart, you know, and it ain't coming from, man, I'm going to give you $1,500 just to show up, you know, versus you ain't got, some of them been working and putting in work and ain't been getting paid. And now they reaping the benefit because people starting to see that they is actually doing the work. So I think it's it's some good things is happening again. And feel for it, and I think if we're gonna start seeing some a improvement, bit, yeah, we're gonna see a, a little bit more being done for us, for us, our children, because that's my biggest problem is that our children don't have nowhere to go, right. they don't have nowhere to go. All the school, all the gyms is closed, yeah. you know, most of the parks and recreation day when we were coming up, man, we had. You can go to all these different places, Helster House, uh-huh. Finnegan Park, Park, Tuffley Park, Brewster Park. Every park in there. You know, and just, they had programs. Uh-huh. Now, you uh-huh. know, they don't have these programs, you know, and I, I just look back at all the changes that's being made. And, and by this, by, I'm going to double back to the music. You can't even employ people no more. Ain't no more offices that you can hire people mm-hmm. because they don't want to see your face when they come in. These. They don't want you to be worth no seventy five, eighty two, three hundred million dollars no more, man. Yeah. They ain't gonna let that happen no more for a whole office full of brothers up in there, right. where you can, you know, take this money and, and put it into other areas in your community. And help your community the way it used to be helped in the past. You ain't going to, you know, they they done stopped all that. So the growth in our community, when it comes to our youth, who they had to look at now. Right. They don't have no, they don't have no positive leadership that's really in the community showing them. You know, you, you got brothers that, they made it out the community, mm-hmm. but how often they that they come back? People think, man, I'd have made. I ain't got the. You can come back to the community, but why you want to come back and do wrong? Right. Man, dude, think they don't supposed to come back to the community after you'd have made it out. Yeah. You'd have made it out to pick somebody else up. You know, and and dudes when they come to the, they look at how other artists 
of rappers get killed in their community. Mm -hmm. But look at their lifestyle. Right. Had they really changed their life? You know, had they really made an effort to say, man, I'm going to do good for my people. I ain't going to mix. I'm telling you, negative and positive ain't going to mix. Because right. if you let your past interfere with your future, a lot of that, a lot of times, man, you let your past interfere with your future. You'll go to reverting back, trying to help those that, hey, man, leave them right there. We're going to stop right there and be right back on the Field Wall Circle of Life. Next time on the Field Wall Circle of Life. Because they some solid brothers. Y'all need to come on the show. Yeah. Actually, you know what? If you don't mind, man, uh, some people that you think we should highlight. Man, the, let uh, us know. You know, you know who I really think need to be on here that can kind of really shed a lot of light.